If you no longer want to use iCloud, you can always opt to use Google Drive or anything else, and you can disable iCloud if you want to on your iPhone. I'll show you how to do it. Let's head into the Settings app of your phone, and we can always disable iCloud Drive, iCloud Messages, backup, all that stuff, just by tapping on your name at the very top. Once you've tapped on your name, you'll see midway down is iCloud. Let's just tap on that. Now, there are a couple different things we'll go through. At the very top, it says Save to iCloud. Let's hit See All. This is everything that's being synced, all the data that's being synced from my iPhone to the iCloud. So for instance, I can tap on iCloud Drive here, and I could always toggle off iCloud Drive and just hit Turn Off Syncing with iCloud Drive. This will prevent your iPhone files and all of that stuff from being uploaded to your iCloud Drive. Now you have other options as well, iCloud Photos, you can always turn this off and choose to have all of those photos and videos on your phone instead of being uploaded to the iCloud. So you can just toggle that off. Keep in mind, this might take up a ton of space, so you might not physically have enough space or memory on your iPhone to store all of those photos and videos. You can always choose to put those on maybe Google Drive instead or OneBox or something like that. Now, you can always go back out here to the very beginning, and we have some other options. You can see iCloud Backup here is another thing. So I can tap on that. This backs up everything on my phone, all of the apps, all of the data, everything basically in one backup at the very bottom. You can always turn this iCloud Backup off by toggling on, or toggling off rather, back up this iPhone, and just hitting Turn Off. Now, keep in mind, if you do that, you should tap on the device at the very bottom. And you can see here, this is the device backup that it most recently did. 4.26 gigabytes. I can always hit turn off and delete from iCloud. And this will delete the most recent backup from the iCloud so that essentially it's not continuously taking up memory on my iCloud. It's just on my iPhone. Now, after you've gone through all of those steps, maybe you ent entirely want to log out of your iCloud. You don't want to be on your iCloud at all. You don't want any features associated with your iCloud. To be able to log out, you're going to go back out of here to the Apple account here. And then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and just hit the sign out button and just sign out of your Apple account. And associated with that is your entire iCloud. You can completely sign out. However, keep in mind when you do that, it does limit the functionality of a bunch of other things on your iPhone as well.